So I'm going to start it like I started, even yeah, though you, you got it. You take got my it. time. <laughs> How's everyone? Doing good. Uh, great, 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 great win. Young men were resilient. They never gave up. They never uh, surrendered. The coaches were still inspired. I mean, all the way to the end, they were still calling and devising things. And once we scored, we was already thinking, okay, we want to defer if we win because we want to put their defense out for our defense out first. But uh, and uh, it went from there. I don't like how it played out, but I love the results. I think we're so much better than what we're showing you um, at times. We keep showing you glimpses of, of running game. We show you glimpses of us playing like, I mean, hard-nosed, tough football defensively. We show you we can throw the ball all around, and then we, 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 we just stall for a series or two and surrender some, something foolishly. But I'm pleased. I'm thank you. I'm, I'm thankful. One step closer to getting Miss Peggy to a uh, bowl game, so I'm really proud of that. Uh, I want to apologize to the opposition, the way we stormed the field, and I didn't get an opportunity to go and uh, shake the head coach's hand, but I did try to go over to the locker room and uh, wait it out until he came out, but I don't think they got the word to him because that's not professional. I wanted to shake his hand and acknowledge, but I don't like what transpired at the end of the game. But I love what transpired at the end of the game. We have a fan base that's phenomenal. We have some young kids on this campus that loves and, and breathes CU football, and I'm thankful. I mean, I walk campus every, I walk the campus every day, and they give us so much love and respect and honor. And uh, Travis is here. He played a phenomenal role as usual, and uh, he didn't want to come up by himself. So he's on my shoulders right now. <laughs> So I turn it over to Travis so he can go get out of here and get home to his baby. <laughs> Questions for Travis? I think you go ahead. Uh, hi, Coach. How are you doing? Good morning. I'm the CU Sports Report. When you saw John Tay Wester come down the wall and push the uh, mm -hmm. push over to hang Travis. No. <laughs> <laughs> you good? I'm going to start with questions for Travis so he can get out. Oh, no, okay. I'm good. I'm good. Oh, yeah, 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 I'm good. Rewind. Mm. Okay. <laughs> so, um, game ceiling force fumble, Travis. What did you see on that play, and how did you go about making such a you know definitive and game winning play? Uh, just coach trusts me a lot. Uh, defensive coordinator, he trusts me a lot to go get the ball. I mean, Shador told me to go. I didn't get the ball once he <laughs> scored. So I told him I got you. And I kept my word. I mean, I knew I had to tackle. You could see me putting in my mouthpiece late on the play. So <laughs> I was already ready. I knew they was coming at me. They don't think I could tackle, so I had to show them. Yeah. Brian, go ahead. Hey, Travis. Brian Alford, the camera. Uh, for you, as a player, were there a range of emotions? Uh, it looked like pretty desperate there at the end. Was there a range of emotions, or was there always that we got this thing up until the end? Uh, yeah, I, of course you're going to have some emotion in a close game like that. You know, you can tell I wanted the ball more in my hands because I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to go out there and shine and make a play for my team. But, hey, the coach stuck to the plan. He did what he had to do to come out with a win, and he put me in the right position to help the team. So. Tyler, hey, Travis, Tyler King uh, with the Denver Gazette. I mean, just what, what was your perspective on the, the Hail Mary play? Just I, I, Shador was saying that he expected them to kind of go after you and double team mm -hmm. you. I mean, what were you looking for on that play, and kind of what was your reaction when Lejante does come down with the ball? Uh, I told Coach to uh, let me go to the side by myself because I know <laughs> they have more people over there on me, and they give our guys backside a one-on-one -on -one opportunity, which they did. They did exactly what we thought. They had three people on me, and everybody else backside had a one-on-one -on -one chance. So. I just know sometimes you got to step back and let, let the team go ahead and play their role and let them come down with a good play. So I trusted the process. So at the end of the game, you can see, I mean, at the end of the play, you can see me already halfway over there because I'm expecting the ball to go all over there already. Adam, go ahead. Travis, Mr. Tiger, 24 7 Sports. Given, given the dramatic nature of this victory, is this the type of win that can kind of catapult you guys and, and have? Success yeah, it helps us with greater success. We know when it's crunch time, we know what we got, what we're going to do. We're going to come out and play, make a play. And like Coach said, we just, it, it, it helps us a lot. But at the end of the day, we still didn't want to win a game like that. We want to go out with a bang. And that's not the way we want to win. We want to go out and play how we should play. Joe, go ahead. Travis, does it help you play both sides of the ball? I know your technique is terrific on offense. Having uh, that advantage of seeing both sides of the ball the way you do, 
Um, it's phenomenal the way you play the game. Um, does it help playing both sides with technique on both sides? Because I think it does, especially on the defensive side. I see you read receivers because you are a receiver. Does that kind of put things, I mean, I'm not stretching it too much, but I think that you have an advantage, you're, you're an amazing player. Yeah, I definitely have an advantage from going both sides of the ball. I mean, I can know what type of routes they're getting from each split because I know what type of route I would run from each split. So I just know how to shut down the receiver and play. Travis, uh, after the game was over, we saw you did the celebration from uh, Jeff Wilson. Uh, can you just talk to us about that? <laughs> you did that crazy stuff. Yeah, no, you did, it. dog. Yeah, I did it. No, that was ignorant, dog. <laughs> no, I, I had to do it. I mean, I, I gave him a promise. I said if I make a big play, I was going to do a celebration. Wow. So I did it for him. Shout out to Kai, too. Um, Coach Travis, I'm Dylan Weiss with Scoba Sports. Um, uh, Coach, at the end of your Coach Five docu series last year, you said that last season was a year of hope, but this year was a year of um, expectation. Mm -hmm. Like touching on both of you guys, how do you guys think um, you guys have played up to those expectations this year? So, you got it done. I mean, we, we still have more to go. We still have more to do. We still got to improve. I mean, like we said, we don't like the outcome of the game, but we love the outcome of the game because it showed that we have the effort. We we're going to fight to the end to the clock say 0 0. So, I mean, we still got expectations for our team, and we don't want no games to be close, but we still came out with the dub, so we're happy with the dub. Alex, Alex Schmidt, Mali Sports Radio, final word. Uh, guys, uh, the 12th man tonight. They didn't beat me. Mm -hmm. They were there the entire game, guys. Yeah. That was amazing. Uh, it was raining. Thank you for the shot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But hey, he's this, still upset. That was amazing. I was I was sitting back with, uh, with Mr. Snyder over here, uh, and we were watching it. And it was amazing. Just congratulations on a tremendous victory, starting the Big 12 the way you guys started tonight. That's what's up. So, very excited to be here. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Scott, go ahead. Travis Scott Proctor up at Colorado. Just defensively, you guys have been locking down defensively in the second half of pretty much every game so far here this year. What do you think's kind of been the difference in what you know kind of led to the second half, you know, kind of dominance from you guys defensively? I mean, it, it's kind of our coach. Coach Mathis, he don't play. I mean, we're going to have Tom. He on us. We know we got to go out there and play. I mean, he was a dog when he used to play. So we we take that energy from him. He give us that energy, and we go out there and play how we're supposed to play. But we got to put uh, put together two halves. We can't let no deep balls go. I mean, your shoulder, I mean, man. It's a fly on your shoulder. <laughs> it, it's a fly on. He, he, it's still there. <laughs> Lord. This is for comic relief for you. like this. <laughs> Jesus. Well, yeah, like I was saying, my coach, Coach Mathis, he give us the energy. He give us the energy. I mean, we know we got to go out there and dominate, but we got to put together two halves. We don't, we don't like we don't like the uh, go balls. I'm surprised Coach Palmer make them crawl from the goal. <laughs> from where they, from During the, the game. Go ball, yeah, so. Yeah. Yeah. One more for Travis. Go ahead. Yeah, Travis, I asked this question of Shibua, but... Uh, I wanted to ask, was, was it a, a, a bit of deja vu, if you will? Because we saw this in the celebration ball, last Hail Mary type <laughs> play where you made catch and uh, sent it into overtime. But just what was going through your mind as you saw this happen again? Uh, what was going through my mind is uh, we got to win. <laughs> That's pretty much Shit. everything. I put myself on the opposite side to help my guys get a chance. I just wanted us to have a chance. I knew if we had a chance or a shot, it's 50 50. But with our receiver core, it's, a, it's like 80-20. I mean, <laughs> you, can't, you can't get any better than our receiver core. All right, thanks, Travis. Appreciate you. <sighs> Let me take some notes for a little bit. <laughs> All right. See how he answers He's questions. off duty. Let's go. <laughs> go ahead. Travis Smith, CU Independent. Coach, last week you credited the team's ability to stop the run as a factor needed for the victory in the game. We didn't play up to our capabilities or our ability at whatsoever. We blew some things. Uh, they went empty, did quarterback draws. I think we saw that in practice for a couple of times this week, and we knew that was coming, and we, we thought we were prepared for that. They ran that play several times as well as uh, in overtime. So we got to do a better job of that. But overall, you know, they were resilient. Brian, go ahead. Hey, Coach Brian, how, are you? how you doing, sir? How are you? Good. Your, your overall motions, I know that you've seen all, all these guys play. Yeah. When you see your guys, you know, Shador, Travis, they're, they're making big plays, the Johnny down there. Mm -hmm. No satisfaction is, is the 
Coach? Well, the game, the game in like this with those guys. It's not just those guys. I mean, you, it's some of the the smaller things you don't see. I mean, uh, the line always gets ridiculed, but we scored on a run. You know, we scored on a darn run. I, I think it was two back-to-back -back runs that we did it. And you got your quarterback pushing the guy in from, from you know, to get in the end zone, and he pops through there, and it's, it's a touchdown. So no matter what transpires, I just love that these guys could just flush it and move on to the next play. And that's something we're trying to teach. It's something we're educating them on, and it's something I'm proud of. Hey, Coach Tyler. Can you How you doing, my man? I'm doing well, thank you. Uh, you mentioned some of the things you, you didn't like during the game. I'm sure special teams was probably... Special team was horrible. What, what about that unit needs to get... Um, How can you guys go about fixing that going forward? Well... Number one, we got to do a better job of covering. I think both of our guys was running the twist there, and I think both of our guys, man, got knocked off. That's what I heard on the, the headsets. But we got to do a better job. And we have so much personnel that's able and capable of doing that. Sometimes guys don't take special teams uh, serious. And at the halftime, I told them, why do you think they call it special teams? You're supposed to be special when you run down there and do it. And we got to get the ball in the end zone, um, kick it off. I mean, we, 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 we got to do that. We can't even give them an opportunity to return it. You, you rarely see Jamie Home return the kickoffs, right? Because they're kicking the ball out of the darn stadium. So uh, we, we got to find a way to do the same. Adam, go ahead. Hi, Coach. Adam. How you doing, Adam? I'm curious, what was running through your head? I wish you were past the of regulation. Uh, first of all, I seen them uh, load us up to our right side. I'm like, OK, that was really smart, because now he's going to have to boot to his uh, off throwing hand. You know, he, he don't want to. A right-hand quarterback rolling to his left. So that was very smart on their behalf. But as I looked at you know, the whole team was over there on Travis. And you got LeJonte. How, how is there a one-on-one -on -one in that situation? First of all, let's just dial it back to a couple plays. We should have had that one. You guys know what I'm saying, right? We, we should have had that one. I mean, it was a 50-50 uh, ball, you know. We should we should have had that one. But we, we caught the one that we needed to catch well, it was a great confidence booster for him, but it was tremendous. I mean, it, it kind of threw us back to last year a little bit, didn't it? Like that nostalgia, like that's the way stuff was starting out last year. And I'm like, man, I'm already great. You guys, John, what you trying to do to me, fellas? <laughs> and uh, it was a tough one. I'm, I'm excited that we got, because this press conference could be totally different right now, but I'm excited that we won. Thank you, go ahead. Um, just on that play at the end of regulation, mm -hmm. Are you sure and Pat Schirmer talking to each other in really high intensity situations? Yeah. Do you feel like they collaborate and go into the field to have an outcome? Tremendously. The main thing, uh, Coach listens. Shador is out there. So when we're saying get rid of the ball, we don't know. You know, we do. You guys don't. We don't. We don't know if he was expecting something else, and um, it was supposed to be a chip on that end. We we. You guys don't know that. We know that. So they're trying to fix it on the fly and do some things. And we're listening to the receivers. We're listening to um, the guy, Brett, upstairs telling us what they're doing so we could be uh, uh, more than able. You know, then I, we start going back. I said, Coach, you remember that 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 digging up that we ran against uh, <laughs> Washington State? That's what I kept telling them. Yeah, I said, I said you remember that? that. You got to do that. He said, yeah. I said, it's been about that time to dust that thing off. I said, sometimes we got to draw it in the dirt. <laughs> But he already had it in anyway. So that's what you saw. And uh, Travis, I think he was 10 yards behind the gentleman, but Shador got hit in the chest when he was releasing the ball. But he still made the play, and we got a P.I. on it as well. A couple more, Jack. Go ahead. Jack Carlo. Jack Carlo. I love your name, man. <laughs> um, kind of a cliche question, but where does this game kind of rank or compare just in terms of chaoticness? Like I, I don't rank games. I don't. I just, I just love the W's, man. I love the W's. I really do. I, I, any means necessary. I love them. Jake, hey, go ahead. Um, just that play from Omari Miller at the end of the first half. Uh, like the game changer play. Just, phenomenal. What about Omari and his visit to you know, have those tendencies just make plays? Just like uh, well, he, he's, he's hungry. He, he wants it. I mean, he's sitting over there on the sideline. He don't want to be over there. He, when he gets in, he, he's ready. He's ready to go. And uh, Shador has a tremendous expectation of him. Um, sometimes he, he would say who he wants on certain plays and certain routes. And uh, Marion just came in there and did his thing, man. I'm proud of him that he wasn't over there asleep. So when his number was called, he was ready to respond. I'm very proud of that young man. Two more, go ahead. 
Coach Troy Finnegan, CU Sports Report. There was a lot of little moments in this game. Yes, it was. And one of those was Cam making the tackle on yeah. the play before the fumble, open field tackle. Yeah. And he made a lot of those in this game in the open field. Yeah. I, can you just speak to, to what you've seen well, from him Cam, tonight? Well, Cam, I've been seeing this consistently since he was a junior in high school. Cam has played for us for a long time, so I've seen his progress. I've seen who he is. I just told a scout he's asking me about unsung heroes. I say Cam's the kind of kid if you allow, if you draft him, he's not going to get cut. He's not going to allow you to cut him. He's going to play special teams. He's going to do this. He's going to do that, and he's going to consistently show up on film. Uh, Thirteen Darren tackles, you know, from the safety position. He has a nose for the ball, and he plays. He practices like he plays, and I'm proud of him. Tremendously. Last one, go ahead. Coach Charles Bishop of the pregame show. Okay. Uh, I wanted to ask this question. I believe early in the game, you drew up completely this. <laughs> you know, I just had a throwback. <laughs> I just had a throwback. You know, when Richard Pryor was up there. You, you remember that? Corey, y'all remember that? With Richard Pryor? I just, I'm serious. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Shadour <laughs> uh, uh, completed his uh, thousand uh, completion during his uh, Yeah, I saw that. And I wanted to ask just you watching his growth from freshman year to now. Mm hmm. How much has he matured into Well, tremendously. Not fresh, but I mean from a baby to where he is now. But at this level, I expect it. I, I expect, you know, when these two guys are on the field together, along with the rest of the guys, I expect them to do something spectacular because they do it in practice. I mean, so when they play and they prepare with purpose. So I have a tremendous expectation from him. You know, I'm more... Um, tough on these guys than I am on, on anybody because I expect great things from them. Taylor, you got anything? You good? Good. Yes. Okay. Well, yeah. Well, we, we don't only want to coach them, we want to grow them and to mature them and, 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 and love them and chastise them at the same time. We, we, we don't just want to pick them up and, and, and push them in the swing set. You know, we want to make sure we, we sit down and tell them what they need to know at that persistent time. Uh, we love these young men in a multitude of ways. And uh, some of these young men have never heard those words from a man. So it's, it's vital that they not only hear it, but we show it. And, uh, you know, he knows the way I feel about him and the rest of these young men on the team. And we're developing a tremendous relationship that goes much farther than just football. Um, who, who's here from Jackson? Uh, all the players? No, no, no. We got a couple of players here. But uh, Isaiah, yeah, thank Isaiah, you. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Isaiah Bolden is here, who played for us in, uh, in, in, with the Patriots now. But just, just seeing his joy when we first saw one another. And uh, I said, boy, if you'd have been here. You, you probably would have been a, a second rounder, third rounder. I mean, it's just for his location. But he, he got drafted, I think, seventh rounder. Mm -hmm. But the, the kid is uh, two, 200 pounds and runs a 4 three forty. Come on, man. I mean, just seeing them and, and embracing them and them coming up to support us and watching our guys that they played together with, it was, it was phenomenal. So we, we love them, not just through them playing for us, but uh, forever and always. I appreciate you all. Thank you very much. This has been wonderful. We're sorry to keep you up so late and keep you on the edge of your seats. But God be the glory. We, we got the victory. We got the victory. We got the victory. And thank God we got the victory. God so bless you all. We got two more players coming, guys. Who's coming next? Uh, Micah. And oh, Micah. I, I want you to stay here, Micah.